So one month in Bali so far has been fun, um, exciting, unexpecting. It's been uh, hard sometimes and it's been really rewarding. Rewarding because it's definitely showing me that I do have the potential to one, manifest the things that I dream about and actually bring them to my reality. We're here right now. This is something that was a dream. This was something that I took a long time to research. I took a long time imagining in my brain and we're actually here. That's still surreal. Sometimes it still hits you like, sometimes it's like, I'm actually in Bali. This is crazy. But it's good. And it's, it's really good. Um, it's peaceful because Jordan and Hope had mentioned being able to walk wherever you want to go um, and feel safe. And that's 100% accurate. You can walk wherever you want to go any time of day and there's never any feeling of being unsafe or that you're in danger or anything like that. Maddox and I oftentimes walk to the store alone, we walk to the beach alone, we walk to the, you know, the local markets or just walk around to look at the place. <clears throat> and everybody's so nice. Um, the biggest nerve-wracking thing when you're walking is not the people, but it's maybe the traffic and the cars on the road because, man, they, they are skilled traffic weavers and they will weave in and out of traffic like they will get this close to you. And we're not used to that in the States. It's like when somebody's passing you, they go well around just to, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. At least I would when I was would pass like a biker or a pedestrian on a road. I'd go out of my way to make sure that they know I'm not coming close to them. These guys, right by you. It's crazy. Um, the more um, scary part it's not the people it's the <laughs> it's just how close the cars and the uh, motorbikes and everything get to one another and yourself when you're walking but like I said they're very skilled at it not once have we seen an accident thank God um, we have not seen any pedestrian getting hit we've not seen you know even the dogs are trained and get out of the way when a car is coming <laughs> they'll just they'll be laying in the middle of the road and then all of a sudden they get out of the way because they just know and the drivers don't even swerve or anything it's like everybody's well timed and trained on the spatial awareness of what they have going on which is really cool 